What's up everyone, we're back. Last time we missed something. Creeping Ivy. Now I thought that I was gonna have to take these stones and break a window. Yeah, obviously. Now can I scale? Window, window, window. Bushes! It doesn't answer me. A miscellaneous book. Ha! <laughs> Truth be told, I'm not much. Didn't say that that that's the guy's about things. I know what I know you aren't, McCarthy. I don't think that you do much things in life that are worthwhile. French. I don't I hate French doors. That's locked. Oh, hey, woman. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Oh, him. I know what I got to do now. Have you guys ever thrown a rock out a window? Even if it's small. Hello. Hello. Even in the dank midnight air, her voice carried on the wind like butterflies. Well, you're in love, McCarthy. Good evening. Oh. Uh, I'd like to speak to the head of the house. Yes, you would. Thank you, miss. My heart pounded as her voice ricocheted around inside my head. You have my mental boner, and maybe a quite actual one. Wow, McCarthy, you, you really have a way with ladies. Why couldn't you just go up the other set of stairs, guy? The house was eerie and eerie and empty sounding. The young girl looked at me expectantly. Will you be staying with us this evening, sir? Yeah, yeah. Damn right. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. yes. Mr. Grosser is in the drawing room. Whenever you're ready, Mr. McCarthy. A glimmer of recognition flashed across her ivory face, but she didn't say anything. Well, my name's Sarah. Sarah McKenzie. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. McCarthy. I know a chick whose name is exactly that. Hey, Sarah McKenzie. Wherever I go. Oh my god, McKenzie. Me. Let me just. Yes. Can I touch her? As much as I'd like to. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Why? She wants you. That's Sarah, a young girl in her mid twenties. Damn right. She looks decidedly uncomfortable and nervous. Mr. Grozer is just. Oh, he's just to the left. I wonder if I can go up these stairs. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, uh, 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 damn. I was gonna steal something. Something worth like five dollars, maybe, at Walmart. A grandfather clock. It mockingly counts down the seconds until cigarettes finally kill me. You need to stop being such a Debbie Downer, okay? That's all I gotta say, bro. I like the art Skinny style. Man, no older than mid twenties, stood in vain trying to warm himself by the fire. By the fire. I assume this to be gross. I should introduce myself. I should introduce myself. Well, aren't you a gentleman? I have no idea why I'm talking to your head. Or the back of your head. Excuse me. Yes, I think I saw something, but 
read you in the newspaper. Although I neglected to read the article, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. What would you like to know? What would you like to know? Man, I'm Scottish. Okay. Anyway, how's business, guy? How's business? Well, business trots on. As business does. There are still a few guests in the hotel. Only Sarah and Victoria are currently permanent residents, though. Victoria? Hey, <laughs> two girls, man. What's up, girl? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah. Victoria. Quite a feisty young woman. Very inquisitive. I like feisty. She seems very <laughs> interested in the history of the estate. She can usually be found in the bar, pouring herself drinks. Oh, that's sad. Oh, well, whatever. Why would I say that's sad? As long as she's an alcoholic, she's yes, young, she can do that. She's actually a new addition to the household. Been here just a few weeks. A backpacker, as I understand it. Or something similar. You bastard, how do you not know their profession? small wage. In exchange for our services as a maid and a cook. Oh. Anything unusual happened in the last few days? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I do. I think so. In fact, things have been rather quiet of late. Really? The other guests may be able to help you further than I. Oh yeah. Oh my God, really? That's all I need for now. Don't mention it, sir. Will you be staying with us this evening? The weather is quite atrocious. Thank you, but uh, no, I think I've learned everything. It seemed very possible that the matchbook was a red herring. I thought it would be wise to come back in the morning with a fresh head and a new set of questions. Um. Aight. Time to leave then, huh? Right. Can I speak to Sir? You're such a lovely little girl. Well, not little. In fact, you're... What was it? 20-something? You're in your late 20s. Come. I'll come back in the morning. Is that... Is that not where my car... Oh, this is the front entrance. Lovely. Keep your revolver handy, man. Just keep it handy, man. That's all I gotta say, dude. So this is supposed to be like part one in a three-part, three-part series. You knew I was gonna stay here, girl. You did it. You're like, I like this man. I want him to stay. I guess I have to go ask Douchebag. Oh, uh, wait. Sorry. Sorry for that. Sorry. If it's okay. To be here tonight. What? Big old bollocks! Oh well. Uh, I guess that's a sign that I'll have to continue this tomorrow. See y'all later. Fuck. Fuck it all to hell.